Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from The Bee, a newspaper in Danville, Virginia from 1956, we're going to be making the barbecued barnyard burger. We start off with chopped chicken to which we add a lightly beaten egg, soft breadcrumbs, minced parsley, minced onion, salt, pepper. And we get that all mixed together. And now we form into patties. Now we broil on both sides until brown. Now we put that onto a hamburger bun. Okay, let's give this barbecue barnyard burger a go. It's a little dry with no condiments on the bun, but the chicken, the parsley, the onion, they all, coming, they all came together nicely. Um, and yeah, it did call for a cooked chicken. I definitely want to plus this up. First, I'm going to put it back under the broiler with a slice of Gouda cheese to get melty. Then I'm going to add a little barbecue sauce to the top bun, as well as some dill pickle. Okay, let's give this barbecue barnyard burger plussed up with some melted Gouda, barbecue sauce, and dill pickles. Ooh. Vastly improved. <laughs> Still getting the chicken and onion, but now we've got this flavorful barbecue sauce, a little bite of the pickle that's kind of punching through the sweetness of that, and then the gooey Gouda cheese that's kind of rich and buttery. So the original barbecued barnyard burger, I'm not sure why they use the word barbecue because there's nothing barbecue about it, um, called for cooked chicken, and it, clearly it's a recipe intended to make uh, cooked chicken go even further, right? You're adding egg, you're adding breadcrumbs, um, and it's a way to get even more out of the protein that usually costs the most of a meal. Flavor-wise, it was not bad. The fact that they didn't have you put anything on the bun is odd to me. <laughs> um, I would give the original sandwich probably five and a half. If, if they had had us put something on the bun, it'd probably be about six and a half. Uh, plussed up with the barbecue sauce, melted Gouda, and pickles, uh, that is a seven and a half. I, I really enjoy that. I am definitely going to finish that. I don't know that I'd make this again, uh, but it, I'll, def I'll definitely finish it. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.